they can get away with it. And what I noticed uh, back in May was that the Brexit Party's highest scoring parts of the country were those with the highest number of Labour MPs. I don't think that uh, the Labour Party, which now clearly is more about Hoxton than it is about Hull, I don't think the Labour Party get it. I think it's been taken over by the North London intellectuals. They're miles away in every sense from traditional working families, uh, some of whom have supported them now since the end of the First World War. There is a complete and utter disconnect. And what I've noticed, I've been in the valleys of South Wales, up in the northwest of England, up in the northeast, um, and, and, and indeed in Labour parts of East London yesterday. The one thing I do notice everywhere in traditional Labour areas is there is no love and no enthusiasm for Jeremy Corbyn whatsoever. And I think my biggest prediction I can make right now is that very large numbers of people who often vote Labour but aren't necessarily particularly politically motivated, they're going to stay at home. And that gives us a phenomenal opportunity in parts of the country like this.